title and refused to lose a special meaning to you? Um, yes, it has a, a really special meaning to me. Um, you know, being from Mississippi, where um, <laughs> where options are few, you know, and to, you know, that alone, you know, Mississippi is the most poverty-stricken um, state in the country. Um, and then we're at the top of the line in obesity, you know, and um, you're from the South, it's slow there, and uh, <clears throat> you get everything last. <clears throat> Yeah, like all my friends in New York and California I played basketball against or whatever, they would always get, when the shoes come out, they see them first, or, you know, see, whatever. <laughs> they always get it first. When clothes come out, they get them first, you know. You know, so, so just being from a small, small state, small town, um, that alone uh, was motivation for me to just push and go. And, uh, and my mom, seeing her work hard every day to provide for me and my two older brothers. Um, she, she cooked every day. She worked every day from nine to five. And it was, uh, and to see her do that, because I'm a grown man now, I'm 31, and I have a daughter, she's two years old. So my mom had three kids when she was 23. And for her to be able to do that, and. Uh, Strong lady. Strong lady. And my father, he uh he and my mom, they divorced when I was three. And <laughs> um I never really had the relationship I wanted with him, but I love him and I know he loves me, but it's just uh <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's different, man, and uh you know I'm just thankful. And my, my, my father plays guitar. Uh, the last time I saw him I just went to his house and we kind of played a little bit. But uh, I'm just thankful, man, and, and just seeing my mom struggle and my father being, it, it, my father's a very hard worker. Um, and uh, you know, my grandfather's uh, on both sides, my mother and my father's side. I was close to both sides of my family. Uh, my uncle Tim, who taught me how to play basketball, that was my dad's brother. So, you know, it's just, uh, Growing up in the hood, seeing my mama struggle. And you know, that was motivation alone, let alone, you know, going through what I went through with my ankle. So that was like fuel to the fire. <laughs> Fight back. Oh, yeah. Um, Didn't give up? I'll never give up. Uh, you know, and that's the thing I, I say to anybody because uh, life is short and uh, you never know what turn you might have. So you just gotta keep pushing all the time and, and hope something uh, something works out for you. But the main thing is just keep trying. You know? Refuse to lose. <laughs> <laughs> also the song, uh, uh, one of the best uh, is Keep Pushing. It's keep also pushing. Of, of, of the ankle injury, I think. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That you must yeah, you gotta fight. Keep yeah, that's the main thing. Uh, you got to keep pushing because I never knew that I would be a musician. You know? I never thought that I would be a musician. So the fact that I'm here, you know, in Belgium. <laughs> Excuse me. The fact that I'm here in Belgium, man, it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know. Uh, I never dreamed of. I hope you come several times to you. <laughs> <laughs> I will see how it goes, and uh, I would love to come back and, you know, play as much as I can. But the, the lyrics on the album are very special for you. Oh, man. Because uh, you have a lot of personal information on the lyrics. Well, yeah, I, you know, me writing my songs for this particular album, I thought it was uh, very important that uh, people knew exactly what happened or that I express exactly what happened because if I don't do that um, it's somebody else that's going through the same thing I'm going through and I won't be able to help them if I don't pinpoint it you know because when I listen to music sometimes I, I just you know I want something autobiography autobiography 
you know what I'm saying, autobiographical. That's the word. Uh, like I want, like I like to know where the artists come from. What did they go through? You know, how did they make it out? You know what I'm saying? All of those different things. And a lot of times you don't get to hear it because artists are trying to make hit songs. And a lot of times hit songs don't come from it. But, you know, that's not why I'm here to try to make a hit song. I'm trying to write the best music I can possibly write and hopefully help as many pe people as I possibly can, you know, because I wanted to have that same help when I listen to music. Uh, I think that's why I listen to rap music a lot growing up. And uh, after the injury, you started rap, rap music and hip hop music mm -hmm. before you go to the blues. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, I was, you know, because that's what I grew up around. All of my friends, we used to, at the lunch table, and you know, just rap to the beat, or whatever the case may be. Um, and what made you change 